Hi everybody, welcome to another episode of Exploring Photography right here on Adorama TV, brought to you by Adorama. It's the camera store that has everything for photographers like you and me. Well, we're here, this is Nadia, she's my spectacular model today, and we're here on this really crazy set, and this reminds me of one of my favorite light modifiers, it's this. The grid. And so we're going to be doing three different lighting setups using this big grid and also my new favorite toy. This is an OCF uh, Pro Photo grid kit. So I've got a 10, 20, and 30 degree grid that I can put on my B2 head. But I'm going to show you basically what different degrees of grids do to control light spread. Once we have that under our belt, we're going to go on to something that's a little bit moodier and more interesting. And then we're going to finish by going to one of my favorite go-to lighting setups. And so let's get started right now. Well, in this first lighting setup, we're going to start playing with these different grid sizes. So we've got a 30, a 20, and a 10. But before we even do that, I'm going to take a picture with the bare head, so no grid at all. And what you'll see is that everything is just illuminated and we have flat light. Now, the key to this lighting setup before we do anything is to make sure that the head of your flash is in line with the model and low enough that we don't have a big shadow underneath her chin and we don't have any big shadows. So with this is lined up exactly in line with your model, the shadow is essentially gonna disappear because the model is hiding that. Now to see that, what I'll do is I'll put my camera out here. So this is where the camera's gonna be right underneath the flash. So if it's off position, you're gonna have really nasty shadows. So make sure everything is lined up exactly. So knowing that, we're gonna start with the bare head. We'll show you that. And then we're gonna start playing with these grids to show you what they'll do. Well, now that we know what this looks like without a grid, we're gonna add a 30, a 20, and a 10 degree grid. Now, here's a tip though. If you're doing this in the studio for the first time and you're using like a 10 degree grid, sometimes your light meter is saying, hey, I don't see any light. And so if you're metering away, so we'll take this guy, and let's say we're trying to get a meter reading and all you're getting is nothing. Well, probably that grid is so small that your meter can't see the light. But have no fear, there's an easy way to do this. So all you have to do is just take your grid off of your flash, meter your light, get your reading, put the grid back on, and you should be just fine. So now that we know that, we're gonna start with our 30 degree, go to our 20 and our 10, and we can see how that light really shrinks and we get some really distinct looks. Well, that first lighting setup was pretty fun and it helped us understand the different degrees of those grids and how the light spill changed, but we can admit it wasn't the most exciting lighting setup that we've ever done. And so what we're gonna do now is we have a 10 degree grid. We've closed these red curtains. Nadia has changed her wardrobe. And so now we're gonna get some really evocative shots. Now the key to this, I've already metered it, so it's all set up and done. But what we're gonna do is we have this light, it's right up here, it's focused right on Nadia's face. And so what I'll be doing is I will be moving around like this. And that is going to change the shadows on Nadia in the background. And so instead of moving the light around to change the shadows, I'll be moving the camera. And we're gonna get some really awesome stuff. So let's start right now. We're going to do one of my favorite two light setups. It's very easy to set this up and it looks great. The key to this is this beauty dish right here. It has a grid on it and that's going to make sure that the light falls on Nadia but nowhere else. It's going to control our light. But if we only rely on this light right here because of the inverse square law, the light's going to fall off so rapidly that the background here is just going to be a dark, dark gray and I don't really want that for this shot because Nadia has really dark hair. We need to separate that from the background. 
So what I'm going to do here is add this Profoto B2 head with a 20 degree grid. And that is going to cast light right in the center of this background, but not everywhere. It's going to give us a nice vignette. In fact, if I turn on the modeling light here, you can see exactly what's happening. We have light in the center, but not on the edges. And that is exactly what I want. So we've already metered this. It meters at F9. We're going to start shooting and I'll show you what we get. You can see that grids are tons of fun. We were able to do three pretty cool lighting setups today. And a neat thing about grids is you can get them for speed lights, you can get them for studio strobes, you can get them for soft boxes, beauty dishes, you name it, you can get a grid for it. And in fact, we've added a link in the description of this video so you can click on that and go to Adorama and look at some of the different grids and the options that are available for you. Well, thank you, Nadia, for being a fantastic model today. Thank you for joining us. Don't forget to subscribe. Click on the subscribe button right now and also check out the Adorama Learning Center. There are tons of articles that can help you with studio lighting and all kinds of photography, so check that out. It's absolutely free. Thanks again for joining us and I will see you again next time.